in this lesson, we are going to learn how to start a new project in eTabs. To start a new project, go to the file menu, then click new model. On the model form, we have three options. And because this is the first model we will be building, we are going to choose the third option. However, the second option is very useful and it could save more than 30% of the time in building the model. This option means that you can use a previous project as a template. So, all materials, load patterns, load combinations and section of this project will be defined automatically in your current project. Now, for display units, I'm going to use a metric SI units. And for concrete design code, I am going to use ACI 318-14. Now click OK button to display the model quick template form. In this form, this text boxes would be used to specify our graded line data. However, we are going to start our model from a blank screen because we will learn how to import the grid later from AutoCAD, as it much better and faster. So, all we will worry about are the number of stories and the story heights. In our example, we have a 19 story building, so that we will set the number of stories equal to 19. Also, change the typical story height, which in our case is 3.2 meter, and change the bottom story height, which in our case is 4 meter. You can also change any story height by choosing custom story data. Then, Click Edit Story Data. The program will open the form of all stories level, so you can change any story height if you need. Also, you can adjust a similar story, but I will talk about this form later in details. So, I'm going to cancel that. Now, click the blank button. Then click OK. Now we can see as three windows have opened up. The first one is the Model Explorer. The second is a Plan View window. And the third one is a 3D View window. If you close the Model Explorer window, you can open it again by clicking on Options menu, then click Show Model Explorer. Now, as you can see, the Model Explorer has shown up again. Also, you can add a new window by clicking on Window List button, then click Add New Window. As you can see, a new window has been added to our model. Now, to save our project, go to the File menu, then click Save. Here you can choose a name for your project. Now. Choose the location where you want to save it, then click Save. Now, it is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn how to define the material properties.